guys, what's up? It's Raptor Jesus here. Hey. Hosea. You looking good? Thank you. Good to see. See you later. Think we're gonna get up to some mischief today with old uncle. Uh, saw him sleeping over here earlier. Uh, you know, better feed the old horse. He's a good feller. Yeah, okay, boy. I had to get a, find a brush for him sometimes, you know. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <laughs> you gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a ride, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Right, let's head over to old Cattle Town, Valentine. Yeah. Must be born up here, sewing all frickin' day. I guess there's like bottles of whiskey and beer everywhere, so it's not too boring. <laughs> Ladies, sing us a song. <laughs> I guess it's up to me, fellers. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, Must friend? Must be one of them foreign oh, breads. You couldn't help me get my old horse <laughs> back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Well, let's see what I can do, fellers. Easy there. Yeah, let's study this old bad boy. Easy there. Take it easy there. Easy. It's okay. There we go. What a good fella. Good boy.
All right, let's get this whole horse back to its owner. And then we can get on our way, all right, fellas? It's good to do a little side quest like this for strangers. You get your honor all nice and good. At least I like having good honor. I don't think I've ever played this game with bad honor. <laughs> Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Pardon me while I climb all over your carriage. <laughs> To Valentine. I think that deserves a little gin, don't you think? Every little cowboy can get a little bit of gin as a treat. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. Well, you did. <laughs> oh, Arthur. Our wild yep. law and training. Horses, trains, and guns. What's not to love about this game, fellows? Try to drive and say hello. Other people, <laughs> finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. That is quite a beautiful sight, don't you think, fellas? Pretty lively sounding from what we're used to up in those uh, mountains. Gentlemen. Hey, mister. Go left here, down the all right, street. All right, all right. Bears always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there. Star Arthur. Fight, you can't Heaven stop. forbid you put yeah, your head on the line. On. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? <laughs> Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Part of me, fellers. That's it. Now I've seen everything. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. One shot and run okay. away. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. <laughs> Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then, rats with the plague. Then you. <laughs> Shut up. 
This is the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, mm, Arthur. Let's see Why what we got here. Oh, awesome. While we're here, plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top let's shelf. Get this Here's old the door. coffee. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Love that these crackers are in the tins. So, you're actually buying for once? Oh, the packaging's really you cool. All right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Oh, yeah, yeah. Get Rudolph. some sweet corn, well, you know. This here's a sheep town. It's a good the stuff. The best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese. All right, right. some bourbon. That's always handy. You know, for survival purposes only, of course. You know. Well, look at this. A jaw. This rum is medicinal. Is this <laughs> I got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Let's see what else I can get. All the best, fellas. Some chocolate, that's always handy. Good medicinal chocolate. <laughs> the horse loves all these apples and stuff. I think that's handy to have for the old fella. He's hard working, carrying me around and such. Handy for hunting. Plan to do a bit, fair bit of that in this game. I have some gun oil. It's good for maintenance, you know. It's good to keep your guns clean, especially when you're an outlaw. You're gonna be using that a lot. It's like your lifeline, you know. Some salt of beef, that's real nice. You know, he puts that beef out there real quick, so I can't even see him put his hands out. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's all I really need in here, huh, fellers? I hope see ya, buddy. Sir, <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain, absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Hey, fellas, that's the rest of my video. I hope you're really enjoying this playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's such an excellent game, and I hope you guys are enjoying the story as much as I am. And I hope you keep your uh, shield arm strong and you have a good game next time because it's really important to me that you guys are having fun in this dreary, dreary world we live in.